Ready to do a, you ready to do a show, Miss Universe? I'm always ready, buddy. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai and that's Brooke Lee. Today we have a very special guest. So a good, special. A good friend of ours. And, Love uh, him so much. Fi- fi- he finally made time for us. I'm oh, going to give stop. him a, a big introduction because his resume is massive. Deep. And I'll just give you the highlights. Uh, he's an innovator of water safety risk management. Uh, big wave surfer, stand-up paddler, expert, canoe paddler. I've never seen a guy operate a boat on a 50-foot wave. Ultimate waterman, we call him. Uh, he's been in shows like Baywatch Hawaii, where I met him. Okay. Uh, Hawaii Five O, Beyond the Break, Big Bounce, Blue Crush, just to name a few. He's a stuntman on Waterworld, uh, Kong, Jurassic Park, Midway, The Wrong Missy. He was a stunt coordinator on uh, Ho'omau, Point Break, The Tank, Jurassic Could you World. Could get into this era? Godzilla. Those were all a little far I'm back. Ca- I'm building up okay, to it. Shut sorry. up, please. Okay. Lo- uh, the Jurassic World, Battleship, Soul Thank Surfer, God. The Tempest. Um, uh, it just keeps going on and on. You may not kiss the bride, The Rundown. Uh, he served as a technical advisor for the uh, U.S. military for water safety. Uh, he's the co-founder of C4 Waterman Stand Up Paddle Boards. Mm-hmm. Uh, he uh, brainwashed me to paddle <laughs> the Molokai <laughs> Channel two times, not once, but two <laughs> times. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Keolana. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the show's over. <laughs> okay, good night. Good night. I'm leaving. Bye. How you been? Good, 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 good. Nice you, to see both of you. I yes, know. nice yeah. to see you. My we favorite have, people. Yeah. Three and of us haven't been together in a while. Oh man, God! I don't think we three have ever really been in the uh, same. Hung out, yeah, no. at dinner or anything. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's same always room. over there, and then sometimes I bump into him over this side when yeah. he's running the world. But then us three have never really. Yeah, yeah. So you've been doing a lot of stuff with the military. I know you can't, you know, a lot of secret stuff, but you can vaguely tell us what have you been doing. You know, a, a lot of what we teach is is ocean risk management, mm. you know, so how to create safety where safety doesn't exist, you know, and, and really a lot of um, water knowledge, ocean, ocean knowledge, cultural knowledge, you know, things that we've learned from our parents and our grandparents, you know, as, as Hawaiians, we don't truly appreciate and understand really what we know and what we give to the rest of the world, yeah, you know, yeah. so I, I appreciate that. I also appreciate the military for what they do yeah. um, for us guys, because, you know, again, um, sometimes you find separation, but these guys are really close, you know, to me and, and, um, uh, they're, they're fathers, they're brothers, they're, you know, um, just all around good guys. And as far as the training goes, you're putting them in situations as if they were in a, in a situation at battle or at war or where have you, right? Well, they're, they're in an environment, yeah, you know, environment. The kind of environment that we, we in, you know, for, um, other people, it may be war, you yeah. know, for, for us, it's. It's life, yeah. you know. It's it's kind of what we live for, you know. I always appreciated that because whenever a production came to town, you would take the actors, their families, whatever, to go play in Makaha. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you you made them feel like me. You made us feel comfortable in yeah. the water. Again. Yeah. Because I grew up in the water too, but mm. then I almost drowned, and that ruined it for me. I didn't go back. Surfing but not in Makaha. You were on Lanai. On, yeah. yeah, on Lanai. Yeah. So. Yeah, he put me in the worst case scenario <laughs> every day for like five years. You, you forget the third part, Malika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Malika Dudley used to hang out with us right. all the time too, and we were training for, to do the Molokai channel. Mm. You know, he yeah. brainwashed me to do the channel, <laughs> and her. Yeah. And uh, you did oh, it. I was so a wreck. You have to be a wreck. I was. A, That's remember the remember the first the time we went? Well, you, you know, I I remember. So first time was like, okay, let's paddle back and forth, Pokebe. Then we stretched longer. And we went to Macau, and it was like, wow, that was far. Well, wow. then we started doing Hawaii Kai runs, you know, and they, wow, that was far. <laughs> <laughs> Kept stretching. Wait, you yeah. just wait, you wait. Oh, but, but my favorite memory was <clears throat> we going across Molokai, we um, got a change, and, and I go, Lanai, jump. And he's looking at the board, and it's far away. Wait, 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 bro. What? The surf is like five, six feet now. It's like a wash. It's like, you know. Well, five, six feet. We're in the middle of the ocean. Right. The ocean is not blue. It's dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dark. So anyway, he, he looks and he goes, oh, man, I'm getting a hard time. And I go, why are you getting a hard time? I go, look, I'm going to jump in the water with you. Okay? Right. So I jump in for do the change. And he's over there and, he, and he's breathing hard. And I go, relax. He go, what you thinking about? He, I go, I know what you're thinking about. You're thinking about all that monsters <laughs> swimming under you. That's what you're thinking about. I was hyperventilating. I was hyperventilating. Yeah. Yeah. So I told him, I go, I go, 
Put yourself on your back. Look up at the sky. Look at God right there. God looking at you. Right. If he wanted you right now, he'd take you right now. <laughs> That's comforting, Brian. Thanks. And, uh, right before that, I threw up a couple of times. Aww. I was so nervous. And we were trying to get a good night's sleep, but you can't. It's the day before. Yeah. You know, everyone's sleeping in one little cottage and all these things are happening. Your brain's telling you, oh, can I do You're this? Crazy. Well, You're crazy. You're crazy. for like nine months or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he wouldn't have put you in it if he didn't think I he know, was ready. I know, I know. But the first hour, I was a mess. Mm-hmm. I was like throwing up. I was like, oh, I think Brian said something like, hey, you're making Paulo now. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, gosh, I got to stop throwing up. I was so nervous, you know. Uh, but we'll talk more with Brian Keolana. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. You better watch out. This thing will turn into a week. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI thing. HEC Medical Clinic. Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss. Reverse diabetes and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special. Only $37. Lose one to two inches instantly. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Brian Keolana hanging out with us. How did you guys meet? Well, I... He should probably tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I met both of you through productions. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, that's right. We How were about, all working. Yeah. And you were working on what? A uh, Bud Light commercial, actually. I was I auditioned against um, Patricia Ford, who was the bikini girl here in town, and I snaked in there. And she still looks the same, by the way. Does she? Well, I, I saw, don't. Yeah. I will not right be wearing on. a bikini anytime soon. <laughs> but then they cast me instead of her, and he was there with his dad because his dad played the dad in the show that made people not look at his girl. We his, have to find that Budweiser commercial. No, don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's on YouTube or something. No, don't. And I don't know. I don't think it was a Super Bowl. It was a big commercial, though. It was yeah. a big shoot. We yeah, were like, it was, it was like a lot of yeah. people. No, I remember big deal. because your dad was on the show and he, they had a little voiceover or something, too, about him. Right, that one? Mm, he no. said something about living in the ocean or something. Yeah, right? it could be. But yeah. I, I know they use his voice, you know, a right. lot. Yeah. That was a great one. Big yeah. One. I was in a bikini. That's like historical really i met brian uh and at uh i was trying to remember the beach but it was the house that they built baywatch on. Haliva. Haliva. And Ali you played yourself on baywatch mm-hmm. uh, me and augie played ourselves we played these uh two beach boys that sold crappy equipment and brian was a lifeguard ah. do you remember the scene it just came up on i sent it to you it just came up on youtube somebody posted what does that residual yeah. checks yeah. look like 50 cents 15 oh cents I, I a nickel two, i get two cents <laughs> A nickel in, in Botswana. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, we were in a scene together. Um, it was pretty funny because uh, I just met you. I didn't really know. I knew who you were, but yeah. we just met. And then he kept inviting me out to Makaha. And you were just not going because you were scared? Yeah, I was scared. Yeah. Yeah, I was scared. Makaha, you know. It's yeah, it's thing. Makaha. Yeah. You don't go unless you're invited by him. <laughs> yeah. Or you go in the summer when it's flat, yeah. like a lake. But yeah. even then, don't go unless you're invited yeah. by him. <laughs> But we, we started, did, how long did you do uh, Baywatch? Uh, well, actually, it, what's funny is I did the first Baywatch, the original Baywatch. The so, one not filmed here? No, it was filmed here. They oh, the, oh, came so, here and so did stuff. The, that's right. The pilot for the original Baywatch was filmed at Sandy Beach. Oh. And then they moved to California. And then I worked in the industry right back and forth. I mean, I was working on Heart to Heart and Baywatch and just jumping back and forth. I, I mean, I, I knew Pamela Anderson before she became, you know, Pamela yeah. Anderson. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, all, all of them, they all just regular people, you know. And you became good friends with Hoff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because he might. made him look good. The that's Hoff. why. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. David's a cool guy. They're all cool guy, you yeah. know. In, in the in the film industry, you know, you get friends and people and relationships for life. Right. You know, right. Yeah. And especially you bring them to where you're bringing them and you take them to what they do, what you're doing with them. Mm-hmm. You never can forget that. Yeah. Well, and the people that I've talked to that love him so much in the industry is that because they know that they can count on him and yes. they things that they need to have solved. If it does, if he can't solve it, it yeah. will never get done. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not going to be like a guy that's like, I'm going to like give you a rigmarole. He will straight up just tell you this yeah. can happen or it can't. It's safe or it's not. And uh, there's no wiggle room. Yeah. It's just, just the way it is. I'm a lifeguard by trade. I know this island like the back of my hand. Don't try to get around me because you're going to die. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and we and we did a what is that movie we did? You got Malika a stunt double part. 
Oh God! Um, you may not kiss the bride. You may not kiss the bride. So that was, was a big stunt for oh, her. Oh, yeah, what's her. his name's wife now? Um, the big famous Foster She's a guy. Singer. Yeah, the, yeah singer the singer from American Idol. So girl. Malika played the stunt double. Brian hired me to help him with like rigging stuff. And there was a scene where remember they had to go jump down this mountain. Oh God! You know Malika on a leaf. She doubled. Um, oh, yeah, we, um, we, we did a mudslide scene with it. Thing avalanche and you know and you had to teach her how to be a stunt person because she wasn't a stunt person well, no. she did karate yeah right but she was not like surfed and stuff and, you know the the bottom line is if you listen mm. and, and you're trainable right yeah. yeah and and it's about you know me as a stunt coordinator managing those risks right you know and then also too i had brock little who was driving mm. yes you know so everything was timed out of when she should get out right you know that they had to do thing. a jeep off of a cliff and the jeep blew up not oh. not just off a cliff but the jeep was burning oh, yes Lord. on fire and they wow. had to jump out of the jeep when it hit something yeah. right and malika was a nervous wreck malika's are usually a nervous wreck but she's very uh athletic yeah she's athletic for sure yeah, so, yeah, but yeah. Did, she did good yeah she did real good and i told her i said you have there's marks right you have to hit this mark and you have to jump mm. you know and the other part is if she don't jump i told brock kick her <laughs> <laughs> kick her out get her out of the vehicle yeah. yeah i think that came out like uh did it come out yet oh yeah it was a while ago yeah. that movie it, yeah. but it, yeah. it, it, it didn't hit the theater there was like a netflix or something movie um, yeah you know in, in time i mean right now the way everything is now you know yeah be, it's just expanded with yeah. Netflix and Apple and kind of go theater yeah. anyway anymore. Yeah. So. Right, right. Yeah. Well, when we come back, I want to talk about uh, some of the products that you've created: uh, jet skis for life boards. saving. Yes, for life saving. Mm -hmm. You also helped. Uh, you help the lifeguards uh, with with life saving procedures and stuff like that. So don't go anywhere. Brian Kailana is hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. At Western Exterminator, our pest-free 365 solution works year-round to protect your home from unwanted pests. Choose pest-free with Western Exterminator. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. This show is brought to you by Atlas Construction, Hawaii's number one builder for eight years in a row. Call them at 808-951-9500 for the quality and service you deserve today. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Brian Keolana hanging out with us. We're talking about uh, we you know, equipment. We should do this more often. Yeah, we should just like... All the in time. front of, not in front of a camera. No, next yeah. time, on, next time on a bully board. <laughs> yeah. you know, in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. we are uh, talking about jet skis and uh, bully boards. The bully board is the thing on the back of the jet ski. Yeah. That you see now, big wave surfers use. Right. Uh, and like they, a sled. You, like a sled, you call it. Tell us how that came about when you were surfing. Uh, I think it was Waimea Bay at the Eri mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, I was competing in um, the first Eri Aikau. Well, second actually at Waimea. <clears throat> um, you know, th back then there was no um, personal watercraft. It was just regular lifeguards with um, surfboards and rescue yeah. tubes. But I wiped out on a giant wave, and you know, the next wave was upon me. It was going to crash on me, and and I remember this one rescue because now I was the guy's eyes who um, I've lost. You know, there's a lot of people I've saved, but there's a few that we've lost. And I remember paddling to uh, this one rescue in giant surf at Macaw trying to coach this guy out of the impact zone and he's screaming for help and he went about five waves that got hit in the head and by the fifth one he disappeared and gone and we never found him right but wow. you still remember the, the the screams the the face the eyes and all that and that impacts you for life but you know being reversed in that situation now at the eddy and i'm that guy where nobody can help me and it's like okay get ready prepare for you know the rag doll of your life here comes this building this i mean this size of this building that can crash on your head and uh anyway um right before the thing was gonna hit squiddy came in with this uh, stand-up jet ski and uh he came in zoomed and goes brian you all right and i was just amazed that <laughs> by the way yeah. this jet skis when he says stand up there was no seats on them yet. no no it's the regular jet skis <clears throat> yeah. yeah before the wave runners came out so um anyway he asked if i was all right and i was amazed that the technology was there to get in and he zoomed away and I got hammered and hit and tumbled. But the whole time underwater, I was a lot more relaxed because somebody actually came in, mm. you know, and I was thinking as soon as I finish this event, I'm going and straight to the store and buy all the personal watercraft magazine <laughs> and research. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But found a personal watercraft of the wave runners and went to the bank, made one loan and 
bought one and you know pretty much history from then on and you put a boogie board on the back of that so yeah so we tried rescuing me and terry ahui and um you, you needed some kind of uh, platform in the back so i just had a body board with uh water hose wove between it and connected to the the back and started making rescues but it was pretty much too small so we started looking for giant you know body boards and ended up with um gary fisher from wahoo he um uh, made one you know a custom made giant body board and uh brought them down and and my father saw it with all the big boys and israel kamaku vivoli and all the guys and <laughs> and ended up they go what you gonna do i said i gotta drill holes and wait, wait let me try this out so they all went out and they all started playing on them and then i tried to grab them back from my dad and, and he goes no 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 go other one not one this is mine <laughs> <laughs> so that's why i call them on bully board <laughs> and today that's what they call it the bully board yeah and the holes were you were putting uh water hoses in it for mm -hmm. handles, yeah. correct? For handles, yeah. 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 Amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. And now everybody uses them. Yep. Yeah. To save lives. Yes, to yeah. save yeah. lives. And and uh you didn't patent it, but somebody else did. Yeah. But you created it. Yeah. And I think it's that's what's amazing. Yeah. You know, and you create all these cool things. There was a uh, one time I was in Makaha, you had this fin where you put two feet inside. Oh yeah, like the, the mermaid, model fins, the mermaid, mermaid fins, fin. Yeah. yeah, you see that? Were you a mermaid? No. So you instead of one separate, you put yeah. two feet in one right. big one. Right. You ever try? So it? you can do the dolphin kicks under yeah. the water. Yeah, but, but he, that's the kind of stuff. He's like, try this, see if this works. <laughs> <laughs> so, so found out if you stop moving, uh. you stop drowning. Because <laughs> it's so heavy, right? There's so a tip heavy. for you. He also had uh, you had this uh, equipment. It's called the sea bob. I have, actually have you that still right have now. It? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is one of the most incredible things. I, I love this thing. Yeah. Tell everybody what that is. It's an underwater sc scooter on steroids. I like that yeah. breakdown. That's yeah. a, that's, a, that's an accurate statement. <laughs> <laughs> and they're heavy too. They're about the size of this desk, but you lay on top of it and um. you go as you can swim with the turtles and the dolphins. You can keep up with the dolphins or actually the speed Race. of one wave underwater. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So when he first got them, he was using them for a movie. Uh, we He brought them to Makai and there was all these tourists on the beach. And, and Brian can hold his breath for like two hours. I can hold myself, <laughs> my breath for 10 seconds. He goes under the water and he ends up on the other side of the, <laughs> and these tourists are looking like, who is this guy? Because you can't see the sea bottom. Uh, it's that's under so the funny. water. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm over here now. Aquaman. He is the true Aquaman, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. Brian Keolana is hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. Let the experts at King Windward help you out on your current loan or lease into a new vehicle. Visit kingwindwardnissan.com. Check out wearekupuna.com to learn more about all the resources the state of Hawaii has to service our kupuna. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Uh, you've done a, a ton of movies, but one of the most fascinating movies to me was Waterworld. Mm -hmm. It didn't get the... Uh, Kevin Costner. It yeah. didn't get the hype. It got the hype. It didn't get the box office smash that everyone thought it was because I think it was so expensive to make, right? I, you know, I guess to me it was one of the, the best movies that I I had fun on. I think it's one of the best movies, one of my top ten. People think today that it was done at Universal Studios. Tell everybody where it was done. Oh, it was done on a big island, you know, out in the middle of the ocean. I mean, they built that island. Yeah, you know, that was a practical, practical yeah. set. Like, how long did like... how long did that take? How long did you work oh, on that? Oh God, that, that sh movie was about a year, but I worked on it for eight months. And he was everybody. He yeah. was a smoker. He was oh, yeah. an yeah. underwater guy. I, I shot the arrow at myself skiing by. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm that good. <laughs> but you guys built it, an actual island that everyone... And how, how did that work with camera and equipment? Oh, you know, it, it was built for filming. Uh -huh. I, the, the thing that really um, stick in my mind about that atoll, it became a, a spot of all the fishes migrating. Oh. So we saw because like, you guys were there that long. Oh God, we saw ahi, <laughs> we saw uluas, and you know it's like oh my God, look at it's just the marine life. Yeah, I I almost wish they could have um, sank that for yeah. you know just when when fish you know sanctuary. Yeah, but um, I I think what happened was it wasn't uh, uh, prudent for the reef and stuff, uh -huh. which is good that they found out. You yeah. Know? But you know, just seeing the marine life come alive that's, that was pretty neat. And you guys, uh, you guys uh, attached these jet skis underwater and launched them. Like, like that was amazing to me. Mm. How how that come about? Yeah, so they have these rams that they can from on top they can pull the skis underwater, and then it's contained. So it has its own oxygen inside there too that the engines can run. They had all these engineers. Yeah. That we had people 
on my team just for my ski um, organizing me and stuff too. But I see. Uh, one of the things, so we had all these towers underwater, right? I think it was seven of us and seven of the top um, stunt guys also too, you know? So we all underwater and David Barrett and Tommy Harper and all of us guys here. And I just remember seeing this 15 foot tiger shark swimming right in front of us. <laughs> so I'm like this with the, with the ski hanging on on a towel and I'm going like this watching this thing go by. <laughs> and I look right, everybody's gone. And I look left, everybody's gone. And I look behind, everybody's behind me. <laughs> You're like, I got this mama course here. We're cool. Yeah. We all cool. We cool. Yeah. Did we talk about the Molokai channel yet? Mm. We didn't. Talk, did, so Brian brainwashed me and Malika. Didn't brainwash. To, uh, to do the Molokai strongly. channel. That's a very different And uh, you want to tell her how that, how that happened? Uh, well, baby steps. You yeah. Know? So we started off paddling in Pokai Bay and, and just having fun, just paddling. And each time kept going further and further. Um, but we did a Hawaii Kai run, mm. which is like 10 miles. Right. Yeah. And we had fun and all that stuff. But anyway, ended up um, as soon as uh, we said, okay, we're going we're gonna to do Molokai. Right. right? And get ready for this because we had to sprint and change, sprint and change. And we did a bunch of them. And, yeah, and yeah. it was, and the surf was like five, you got, six You got that Miyagi'd. Day. That's yeah, what you yeah. did. You yeah. were waxing But you know on, what, though? I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't do it with anybody else except yeah. him. No, never. Yeah, I've been asked after. You guys want to? I go, no. Yeah. Who's, in, who's, 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 who's the vibe in the book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you were chosen. So people don't realize the, what it takes to get ready for this thing because you got to catch the boat there. Right. And then there's not hotels there. So you, you all, 20 on people Molokai? staying in. Well, yeah, you 20 people right. staying in a little house. Right. You don't sleep. So it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm a nervous wreck. I experienced anxiety. Mm. I threw up a couple times when mm. I got in the water. And Brian can always tell when I'm nervous in the water. Mm. He'll yell it from across like, hey, how's your mom? Or something, you know, to make me forget about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but remember the first hour we were in the water? Oh, yeah. You know, just nervous, falling down back and forth. And, you know, any anyway. How was Malika? She was good, though. No, she's a nervous. She's oh. more nervous wreck than me. Oh. Yeah, but she's not here to defend herself, so we won't talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> you can get the slipper thrown at you. <laughs> True that. But but I was having a hard time, and and the boat, the escort boat comes up, mm. and then then you jump out of the, into the ocean. It's not just the ocean. I know we got to do a reunion. <laughs> no, Actually, we don't have to do a reunion. Why? Me, you, Brooke, and Melissa. <laughs> oh, you guys say I can't handle that. But it's dark. It's deep blue. Yeah. You know, and so I'm a nervous wreck. Right. And. uh what was I doing? I was trying to get on the board or something. Oh God, yeah, you know, just trying to time the the, the sets. But you got to remember when you jump in, that wave's so big you lose sight of the board. Right. Oh, yeah, the board's going. In, you know. It's all faith, buddy. Yeah. It's all faith. Anyway, was that? Our, we have to say bye already. Oh, we have to say bye, Brian. <laughs> oh, bye. But, but you can watch the extended version on YouTube. And, We're going uh, to YouTube. Yeah, and the Spotify We're and all swear. that. Brian Keolana, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much oh. for watching. It's a Hawaii thing. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, the extended version. If you get a chance, say, leave us a message on where you're watching the don't show. Leave us uh, subscribe. If you want to comment about Brooke's we clothing, don't hear her, her hair today, <laughs> uh, whatever, leave a comment. Brian hanging out with us. We were talking about the Molokai channel. How many times have you paddled that? And how many different devices have you used? Oh, God. What kind of question Ten. is that? Yeah, you can't count. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've crossed the Molokai channel a lot. Canoe paddling? Canoe. A, a lot, right? Um, but I've. Um, stand up paddle. Stand up paddle, jet ski across, windsurf across, kite, kite surf oh, across. Kite For those surf. who don't know, it's 32 miles from point to point. So you're looking at about 35, yeah. 40 miles. Yeah. So I, 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 I've done the Molokai Channel a whole bunch of times. I've sailed uh, Hokulea, um, um, different Polynesian boats. Yeah. Um, uh, Hawaiian sailing canoe, four man canoe. I want to do the Hawaiian sailing canoe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's we've fun. been talking about that. That's the f just fly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to do that soon. What did you do with uh, Cindy Crawford? Oh, um, again. Everything yeah. that you'd ever want, ever. Because there was a famous photo that that went floating around. Yeah, there was this um, Vogue magazine shot that uh, we all casted for, and then mm. me and my brother got selected with a bunch of other. Surfers. I wonder why. Yeah. Because, you know, y'all are kind of cute. So. <laughs> wait, wait, Rusty, Jimmy? <coughs> Rusty? Oh, Rusty, okay. Rusty, Rusty, and Rusty. Was, yeah. yeah. Brian's brother is a three-time world champion, longboard surfer as well. So what did you, you guys did a, like a photo shoot? A photo shoot, you know, and, and surfing. And she was at her peak, let's yeah, be clear. Yeah, she was clear. at her peak. Yeah. This was so peak. So was Brian. Yeah. Brian Cindy. had abs. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, you guys were like yeah. you guys were like bookends like yeah. the two of you guys they'd walk in a room yeah. every girl would be like what is happening but, but right tell now? everybody what happened we gotta find the picture we gotta try to get that oh, picture God. As so, the story. you know they know I tandem surf uh -huh. right you know so tandem women and girls like ice skating <clears throat> so they go oh can you do that with Cindy I go yeah I can do that right so that day we end up I get the body ready to go out and they go oh by the way she can't get her hair wet <laughs> 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 and You're I like, go, well, that ain't gonna happen, you know. <laughs> you know, so if you like control them, let's just go by the water's edge, and I can, you know, do poses. And that's what we did, you know, wow. put her up in poses and. And like, no pictures. disrespect to Cindy Crawford, but she ain't like a five foot two skinny mini. No, like, no. she's tall. she's a Six tall, feet, right? She's yeah. a tall, she's tall. Chicago, yeah. like Midwestern, yeah. beefy, yeah. beautiful girl. Yeah. But she's not like a little wafy just right. yeah. pop up, yeah. you know. Like yeah. she's not Kate Moss yeah. by any stretch. And, and great personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. lovely. Yeah. She was game, game huh, for everything. Oh man, she's just you know just it, it's neat when you see someone that. You know, they're so big, but they just, they, they yeah. talk like, you know what I mean? Like how we talk and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Midwestern. You, you worked with a lot of different celebrities that have come to town. Wh who's been like the fun, who stands out the most have been fun besides me that you work with? <laughs> God, a this is a bunch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Judge so Clooney funny. on Descendants. Ugh, great guy. <laughs> um, that was a, that was a awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a great guy. Dennis Quaid loves you surfing. You surf with him all the time, don't you? Dennis comes to Makai, loves yeah. Makai a lot. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. What was the movie? Uh, Soul Surfer. Soul Surfer. Oh, I was lucky right. enough to be on set with Soul Surfer. Brian invited me out when they did the shots with um, with Bethany. Yeah. Out and um, went surfing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was blown away, man. Mm. I, You know, I can't get up on a surfboard anymore. Mm. And she has one arm. Neck issues. Yeah, and she... One and we went on the back of the ski. I went with Brian and we got to watch them film. Yeah, uh, all the surf s spots like the whole day. Yeah, I, when I was a stunt coordinator and secondary director on Soul Surfer, so I had all my stunt people mm. um, because Bethany yeah. would paddle one arm, right? But she would duck dive, and I had every single person because she had her um, grip in front. She could duck dive deeper than anybody I right, know. Duck right, dive right. is when the waves coming in; they got to go under with the board. For those of you who don't know, so she has this kick that she can kick under. When when she goes under and she pops up, the rest of the other girls is all in the back. We got wash. <laughs> really? She, oh yeah, she pops up thirty feet in front of everybody. Wow. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's adapted herself. Yeah. That's why yeah. she can. Yeah. But do her things. strength, her spiritual strength, her yeah. personality. I mean, Bethany's unreal. Their whole she, yeah, she's like six unreal. foot. This girl, I didn't yeah. realize she was so tall. She's she's tall, yeah. but she's not like crazy tall. Yeah, six she's feet. Tall. Yeah. Um, Brian brought back the uh, uh, kind of brought back the Alaya boards, yeah. the original wood surfboards oh, yeah, yeah. the Hawaiians yeah. used to use. And I remember when you first brought them out, I was in Makaha, and he's like, "We go, we're gonna try to catch some waves." And I'm like, "Bro, can I get on one regular board, <laughs> and you're gonna put me on this Alaya board?" <laughs> Just piece of plywood, basically, uh. <laughs> and it was like three, four feet that day. You yeah. remember this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost drowned because I couldn't get up on the board, <laughs> and the waves just kept coming and coming, and I couldn't get on the damn thing. Um, but that's so cool that you do that kind of stuff, especially well, with the now kids. Now you can use a sea bob with you now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> underwater. I'm just gonna stay under the water. Yeah. And the first time I ever um, uh, scuba dived was with Brian. Yeah. I'm wow. not even certified. Huh. He's like, put the tank on, put the mask, and you just go swim along the shore. And I was like, what? He goes, don't worry, just go. You know, because I have anxi anxiety in, in the water. I used yeah. to have a lot of anxiety in yeah. the water. Not anymore. Uh, no, not You've at all. You got the Makaha blessing. If Brian looks familiar to you, because um, he does mostly stunts, he was in the opening scene of Fifty First Dates. Um, you took Adam Sandler Adam. on the back of the jet ski. Yeah. Uh, tell us about Fifty First Dates. Well, you know, Adam's a great guy also, too, and he yeah. surfs. He you does. Know? Yeah, yeah. And and he's he's an island boy. He really loves Hawaii. Loves Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. Will produce things, make things, do yeah. whatever he can to yeah. bring work here. Yeah, I hope yeah. he's doing more. Yeah, all of us, you know. But, um, yeah, Adam, you know, we think of him as a funny guy. But yeah. he's a real personal guy also, too. And, yeah. and, like I said, we had fun, you know, that whole shoot. And it's all about having fun and getting, you know, that, that whole energy out and stuff. So it was neat and, and uh, really cool. When we were doing that whole scene where um, my friend Paul Iliopoulos, who doubled them, he had to um, run from boat to boat and then pretty much bulldog and, and tackle me to kind of like hang on and, and keep going. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that was the opening scene. You got to watch it. Um, you're, so, what is it? The Wrong Missy? The Did wrong you work Missy. on The Wrong Missy? Yeah. yeah. 
Is that Adam Sandler movie too? The, I, I think he produced it, yeah. Right, he yeah. produced it, right? Yeah. Remember oh, this is part of his Netflix deal? Yeah, that was a, they're doing a number two. Oh, well, yeah. I yeah. heard, yeah. yeah. Uh, David Spade. Yeah. What'd you do on that movie? Same things. You did stunts? stunts? Yeah. yeah. Stunts. My um, good friend Bobby Brown was a stunt coordinator. A lot of times I get involved with the on the stunt side, you know, so a lot of times <clears throat> I'll either coordinate or, you know, yeah. or, or direct or, or just do the stunts. I but mean, you like, end up in the movie acting. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> he just happens to be there. Yeah. Yeah. A- acting for me is, is hard. I got to study hard yeah. and read lines. I love the action side. I mean, like, you know, Five O we had or Lost or, right. you know, Magnum. And, you know, my good friends are the coordinators like Eric Norris, who's Chuck Norris' his son. You know, yeah. Great guy. We all in the same group of Stunts Unlimited, you know, so we got a good team of people and stuff. And we all rely on one another. Right. Pretty much the best of the best in the industry. Right, right. You go... Um you did uh, Battleship, mm-hmm. which was done. Was it? It was done all in the ocean here. It was, yeah. Well, well ocean and and studios. That was with Rihanna. And, yeah, with Rihanna also too. Yeah. Awesome. The reason I, I talk about these movies is because Brian has this vision. He can see so far ahead, mm. and I think the the reason you came up with this vision at a young age was being a lifeguard. Can you tell everybody about being a lifeguard and what you read as you sat in those? Oh yeah! In, in that for hours, it kind of gives you the reason why he, he has this vision of movies and mm. stuff. So yeah, so part of my thing is I I love comics. Mm. I, I own big comic collection, huge. Actually, I gave all my comic collection to my son, and my son went up to Lanai. He goes, "Hey, Uncle Lanai, how much do I can get for this?" And they're all in plastic covers. He goes, "Whoa, Chad, thousands!" Yeah, right. yeah. That, we still have to f- sit down and figure that out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah I I have a whole bunch. But you know. Uh, in the female industry, storyboarding right. and, you know, all that kind of things, you know, you don't realize how important in the film industry it, it is just, you know, piecing that all together, yeah, like, telling the story. Yeah, yeah, seeing it in your mind. So as a yeah. kid, as a young kid, you saw these comics and the storyboards. Mm-hmm. So is that what gave you the vision to do one, get involved in movies? I, I think it just happened for me organically, Yeah, you know, because um, I, I think I was guided that way. It wasn't something I thought about, really. I, I just love, you know, surfing and being in the ocean and playing with every single toy I'm in manageable. If I see something new, I'll, like, get my hands on them. You know, right, you yeah. know how I am, you yeah. know. If there was a plane that could fly underwater and fly in the air, I'd probably buy it. He makes too. everything a game. Yeah. He makes everything, literally, even training, he makes it a game. Uh, we did this for, you know, for <laughs> cardio. <laughs> he'll find a rock or a bottle because there's no surf or something. There's always something to do. Right. But he'll get a bottle or a rock and you have to put it between your feet and he'll swim you out in 10 feet of water so you can't touch the ground. Mm. And you have to float on your back and you have to pass the rock between your feet to the next person. So Dang. it'll be five of us. Right. And I'm like, Tagging, ready yeah, to throw yeah. up, and he's like, "Come on, it's fun." You're gonna you know? die. You yeah. better float. But he makes it fun, and you right. don't realize. Okay, after a, a day in Makaha, he was like, "Oh, I was here for six hours yeah. in the ocean, all shriveled up." But you don't realize it, you know. And then the other thing that I like he does is he buys games to electrocute people. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> That's a weird thing, <laughs> especially when he has to do yeah, with water. Tell everybody about these games that you have oh, to electrocute God. people, Brian. Shock, shocking games, right? <laughs> Reaction games. I, I love taking them to like the third world countries where they don't yeah. even see technology. <laughs> yeah. And, and they we go just, to Japan and yeah. stuff and he brings these games with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I go and every, everybody just flips out. But it's all reaction. And, and from a long time ago, I always had quick reactions. Right. You know? So, yeah. But to the game, you, what is the game that you do? Uh, it's a reaction game. So y- you press this thing, you have four people, mm. and the lights would blink, you know, like um, red, red, red with music. And as soon as it goes green and the music stops, it's like musical chairs and you press the button. Right. But if you press it too early, you get shocked. Ah. If you press it last, you, you get, get shocked. shocked. You know? Did so, you create this? No, game? It, no, but he has like all these different, oh, games different types of shock games. games. Yeah. So, right, right. So I know about them, but if you never, yeah, 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 first yeah, time yeah. Brian meets you, he's like, go ahead, we'll go play one game. <laughs> well, it, and all of us are it, like, it, it's like this. If I go let his head, grab this. <laughs> I don't he touch nothing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have videos of him. He uh, likes to scare me because he knows I'm afraid well, of sharks. Well, that's because you gave my number out in the air. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's so, always a cause. So one that. year they asked. Uh, I think it was Channel Nine. Yeah. Channel Nine asked me to do a, a guest host uh, weather. Oh Lord. And that day happened to be Brian's birthday. Was that like a Malika Dudley connection? I don't know what it was, oh, but yeah. they asked. They had different people do the weather for right. the week. So I was my morning to do yeah. the weather, and that day was Brian's birthday. Uh huh. And 
Brian took me and Malika out to my elite point. There's a side story to this. To my elite point a uh, week before, and it was like 15 feet. Mm -hmm. And we went canoe surfing. 15 feet. Yeah, it's yeah. big. Yeah, it's taller than the ceiling. Right. Yeah. So, and, uh, so I was a little scared, but we caught a bunch of waves. We had a really bad wipeout. So I had the photos sent Only to me. Only one wipeout. We had one wipeout. Yeah. That's right. We had the photos from that day from uh, Alan Mozo. Yeah. Sent it to me that night. Mm. So I had the photo and I thought, oh, it's Brian's birthday tomorrow. I'm going to put the photo up on the weather screen. Right. And I'm going to tell everybody, wish Brian Keolana a happy birthday today to his birthday. But I put his phone number up real big on the screen. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No because Instagram he's always then. pranking me. Yeah, there was no Instagram and Facebook back wow. then. Wow. Because he's always pranking me and making me scared in the water, like grab my leg, <laughs> pretend there's a shark or whatever. <laughs> and and so I said, I'm going to do this. And did you change your number? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that morning, I'm going to know how many calls. Blew up had. his phone. I'm yeah. sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blew up cool. thousands of calls. Yeah. That yeah. is not cool. People wishing. Why they wish a happy birthday? Uh -huh. Well, not just that. I, yeah. I had some weird stalkers. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you did. Yes, you did. I forgot should. about that. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go find the video. That's we gotta, not we cool. gotta find the video, Michelle. Yeah, That's blank out that so number. We can play it. <laughs> That's not so we cool. can play it on the on the podcast. Not cool. Yeah. Not. Cool. Anyway, we can go on and on with stories of Brian that, that you've done. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, you have anything you're working on right now? Oh, yeah, name everything in oh, alphabetical order. In alphabetical order. What are you working? What there's are you? a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, 5-0 finish, and that was yeah. a great run. Um, we have Magnum still going on. You're doing stunts for Magnum? Yeah, doing stunts for Magnum. Um, right now, we have the um, Doogie Kamehaloha. Oh, yeah. are you guys on Doogie, too? Yeah, you got yeah. your hands in Doogie. Good, so good, good. It's, it's an, I, I love it because you have a local writer, Courtney yeah. Kang. Can you tell her to write me in a part? Oh, man. Oh, she, man. But she's amazing. I mean, some of the stuff she wrote in there, yeah. I, I was blown away of how I was going, wow, somebody actually get it. You know? Wow. Because, yeah, because you've seen it so long in this career where you like her reading it. You're like, yeah, bro, that ain't yeah. it. Daddy oh, yeah. Daddy Why don't you? Yeah. Daddy you know, and, and, and that for me, you know, made me kind of like, I really like help these guys out. Right. That's Re great. Regardless if I involve, yeah. I right. just like help out. Because they also feed our industry, uh, my family. Yeah, I of mean, course. My film family is tight, yes. you know, as we all know. Yeah. Right, Ruben? <laughs> yeah. and, and it's good because Brian hires local. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, but for those of us who have been in the industry a long time and we've watched the waves sort of yeah. come in and people tell us who we are in film yeah. and how right. we're portrayed. Yeah. When you see it be materialized finally and it resonates with you inside, and you're like, oh, somebody's yeah. actually getting it right. Mm -hmm. You want to do whatever you can. Like, even if you're not even ever casting exactly. it, you want to make the doors open. You want to make the lights better. Yeah. You want to do everything you can to help support it so more people do that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. That's why I liked um, finding Ohana with the little things. I recognized the little things. Yeah. Like they had yeah. geckos and they right. had tea leaf and he lived in an old shack and, you know, those little things. Yeah. The yeah. night marchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And about Kuliana. Right. That's good, though. And do you get a, Do you get to, I mean, are you close to her enough to go, uh, that's a little different or we should make suggestions? No, I mean, you know, I, I don't think close enough to where uh, you know she she gets it she has she, she yeah she gets it and stuff too i i just think when you put a great team of people together because even like uh jake who's the um director on um, doogie um i've worked with him on two of the jumanji films also too mm. and he directed that but uh -huh. um just having the people with the visions and and the producers and the upns and I mean, the entire team, really, you know. It makes and, it easier for you when they get it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and and not just that. Like anything, you're trying to find balance, right, in in logistics, yeah. in financials, mm. in, you know, productivity and all that. And especially now with, you know, and all that and stuff, too. Yeah. But, um, you know, like anything, there's a balance, right? And it's all about communication and working together. And then sacrifices, we all have to make sacrifices, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it's that kuleana of, of helping that and understanding in the end what we all get. Because again, for us in Hawaii, it's all about storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what yeah. we do. It, you know, that, going back to Baywatch, remember the scene we did, there was big, we stopped for a little bit. I don't know if you remember, but Augie had a line said, I'm gonna parallel him. <laughs> and we were like, bro, we don't say this. <laughs> we don't say I'm gonna parallel And so they yeah. stopped production. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And the director at the time came out and said, like, what do you mean you guys don't say this? Making, yeah, 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 making yeah, yeah. it yeah. hard for us to do this. <laughs> yeah, we didn't stop it. And then they went to lunch break and they were trying to figure it my, out one line. My word was surreal. surreal. So they had me saying, and it was Frank South. <laughs> yeah, so it's Frank it, wrote yeah, it yeah. too. So Frank, Frank, South. Frank wrote him. And then um, I, I told Frank, we were close with Frank. And I yeah. told Frank, I go, Frank, 
I would never say surreal. <laughs> he goes, yeah, but just say it. I go, but doesn't feel like me, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. And that's the hard part. I'm trying to find a connection, right? right, yeah. right. You know? yeah, but yeah. it was Pigeon. Yeah. And you're like, you're talking to Augie, yeah. who invented Pigeon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? You're not going to say that. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us. We have a gift bag for you. It's not a gift bag. It's a contest. So No, there's no contest. She makes there's everything a contest. a contest. So mine is sweet and hers is sour. Wow. Um, you choose which box you want as it a parting says spicy. gift. spicy. Well, as a I mean, parting gift. You already, uh, you know me, I'm a kimchi guy. I know. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You can take this one. I win. Yes, you win. I win. Congratulations. Thank you. You don't do social media, do you, Brian? You're on Instagram now. I, I get them, but I don't use them. <laughs> Your brother they, has been using but it. It's oh, yeah. There. yeah. It, it's so funny. So I made one and I did one post, and then my other friend was all mad. He goes, you know, you get 2,000 followers. Goes, so what is that? No, I, well, I we'll, we'll do a post today. <laughs> okay. With the three of us. You yeah. post once, you got 2,000 followers. That's power. Follow <laughs> at Brian Kaolana. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a, a, a comment down Don't below and uh, subscribe. No, we really need comments. You okay, know why? Because then people watch. Whatever. Yeah. And they want to know like what lipstick shade you're using or what makeup you use. None what either. makeup do you use? I don't know. Fake lashes are real? Real. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. It's a Hawaii thing. No wonder you put me over here. Separation. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.